<clears throat> All right, the, the interstage um, heat exchanging water bearing. Um, I'm going to start with the transition from the drive turbine into the smaller duct. Um, and then it goes into this transition duct so they can go from these holes geometry to the um, the heat exchanger block geometry. Um, you can see it in there like that. I'm going to try and do this one handed. Um, you can see inside there you want to be able to make these bigger holes transition into the smaller holes. There's the same area or total area between those the big holes and these smaller holes but it won't so it won't have any reduction in flow or back pressure from it but it'll allow them to transition into here and i was thinking about doing like a doing one of those in between a section of these so because the swirler still so whatever is channel channeling through the smaller one smaller inner ducts has a chance to maybe make it to the outer ducts um or any condensate can be do like a liquid ring style on it but so from you stack up these washers and you stack up these thin discs and you can see in between they're just they got the right spaces for fluid to come in and you're probably wondering what the what the heck i mean by water bearing um so you, if you've seen the heat exchanging video you've seen what this whole area is on the extension from but so to do the water bearing, I'm going to have, well, so to make the heat exchanging part more efficient, I'm going to make it so that there is a section of cold water that gets sent into here to help pull heat out from the, the exhausting steam coming out of the turbine. So cold water will come in circulating and then move into these holes and go either, either in or out of the page in through these holes to get out and so which means some will be directed back towards the dang it the drive wall and some will be sent back to the cold wall and i figure anything that's coming back towards the the second stage will actually be colder because by the time the exhausted steam makes it down here it would be a little bit colder so this colder steam has a potential of taking more heat from the steam and help the condensation and anything that's on this side in the middle and going to the left will just will be a lot more hotter and will probably be able to be sent back to the the drive nozzle um but i figure with the cold stuff wanting to go the other way anyways it will it can just spurt out and mix with it in the actual second stage pump just like the the vortex fluid mixer so these holes can open up to the outside and then again if you've seen this interstate or if, not the interstate, if you've seen the vortex the multi-fluid vortex mixer um, you'll see what how, what I mean when these holes can then transition into that open duct and then these holes will be will be allowed to have this fluid come out and then also mix this exhaust going out again. Um, still a work in progress, but yeah, and so I wanted I figured if this is a high enough pressure, this this whole stack in here should flow. It should it if sh it should be a bearing, like a, a hydrodynamic bearing and I can get a little bit of thrust. Um but furthermore, it mainly really just, um, well, it was really bad. Furthermore, I noticed that these look exactly like the, um, the cavitation heater design I had. So we might actually even get some cavitation happening in here from the heat exchange and the, the pressure. I don't, I don't know if it's going fast enough, but I figured this could actually solve all our bearing needs, not even need a full, um, real like any kind of like ball bearings or even air bearings or anything like it it not only doubles it not only works as the interstage heat exchanger to cool the exhaust leaving from the drive turbine going to the second stage um to help it condense which means the volumetric flow output of the second stage pump will be reduced because the volume of the steam is reduced but it 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 should work as a hydrodynamic bearing so like at start we can live like nothing will have anything going not like none of the drive turbine um or drive discs can be shown i'll show you on this side here you can see how it goes into this big one and then it comes out through these holes into the duct and on this side you can see how this duct goes in and i showed you that um 
the inner duct in there. So to leave the main drive turbine, and leave out this exhaust and go into the heat exchanging area with the cold water. And so I figured the whole system off, everything not running, we started up by pumping cold pr high pressure water in. So this gets the whole runner, even the runner that's in there because it's stacked on the same shaft as this. That's That'll just be, makes it start free spinning, or just free floating. Um, and I, I imagine this will have some drive factor to it. So we're going to get some energy out of it being able to drive it in the right direction too. But I figure if this is high enough pressure and we restrict it so that it doesn't need as much liquid flow, um, we can kind of just make this have the pump from going from the boil or the condenser to the boiler just push through here and what doesn't make it into here can just go straight to the boiler again or the cold tank um heat exchanger but yeah i figured this just start pumping the the condenser water through it you can either circulate or go into the boiler and you, you've already got to pump the boiler water, or the condenser water to the boiler at a higher pressure to get back up to that higher pressure. So figuring that's already got to get done, we make that ha use some of that work actually, um, as a re for it for regenerative. Um, get this on; it's like a little bit floating. And then once this is kind of free spinning because it's got enough air or water bearing coming in here, and it's enough to float the whole whole stack we can then just start this this turbine and then once this gets going super fast this should be this should hold its own um it should it, it should hold its own like um a water gap here and, and i i this is all i can imagine i i, I know jeremiah from my energy supply has done some experiments where he does the air bearing system like kind of similar to this where it's just floating inside the casing all on its own naturally but i i, I think it, it it could be done better with water and I, I, I just, it, the whole thing just goes so well with this. It's just like it, 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 with a combination of the interstage heat exchanger, the air bearing, the, the like interstage air bearing she or coaxial sheathing. And, but it's a water bearing style instead. It's super easy to manufacture. And then this also works as the intro to the, um, vortex or multi-fluid vortex duct or vortex mixer, where the exhaust from this, the cold steam that's still left to condense, and the cold water that's still in these periphery coming from this will then be mixed in the second stage pump to further force condensation. But yeah, this should be really cool. Like, I'm really excited about this. Let's see if I can, if it's not too far off from the runner. Um, yes, yeah, so you can kind of see what it's supposed to be here. I'm really bad at the camera right now. This will go, these essentially will stack onto here. I don't, I don't know, it's off by a few inches, but yeah, I'm not going to try and move that right now. But you can see that this runner, this shaft will go through there, and then these are just extensions off. And so the, the stack of discs these discs just get attached onto here so the exhaust coming out of here goes down these steam or condenser tubes and this will con this will the cold water coming in causes condensation and then out of this the the, the cold water or the, the water that's gotten warm from taking the heat out of the exhaust gets sent into a second stage pump that'll get attached on the end here yeah i've tried to slim this down I, the first time i recorded doing this was like 20 minutes and I got it down to nine minutes, but hopefully this is close. Hopefully that was also understandable, but enjoy it.